the small part is the strand gauge and in UMP we are using the self-fabricated strand gauge that can detect uh, uh, less sensitive compared to the commercial and strand gauge is actually a sensor that can detect uh, uh, strain or pressure in uh, almost everything so now I will uh, take you to a tour where I, I, dis I demo to you how the strand gauge works. Okay, come. Okay. Actually, the strand gauge is uh, attached to a flat surface on a metal block. Okay, and it is attached to a, a, a nozzle that produces the fluorine. Basically, it will attach here, and this nozzle is producing uh, a fluorine that can be detected that can be detected by this metal surface and even the slightest uh, elongation or deformation of the surface uh, it can be detected by this uh, fluorite and uh, by this um, strand gauge okay and when the surface uh, is elongation or deformation uh, the electrical signal will send uh, basically this way is attached to the computer and the electrical signal can be detected by the computer and our software can read the pressure uh, that uh, was uh, produced here. Okay. So, uh, it is all about uh, the strand gauge. And uh, hi, my name is Tim Kang Ek and now I'm going to proceed how the signal is being analyzed through the sensor. Okay. First, the sensor was detected through the uh, through the MI device, which is uh, the AQ system, national instrument, which is this one, you can check. Uh, which is this one. And this device it has a USB cable, which is connected to, connected to the laptop. And the laptop will be analyzed the electric signal and show the reading or the signals. And this particular mechanic lab, we are using the DESI lab to analyze the reading, which from the strain gauge detected the strains and it was producing the electrical signals and passing through the national instrument device using the 9219 device and it was detected through the USB and go to the laptop, the laptop using the DESI lab to analyze the reading. Okay, now let me show you a simple demo how the sensor works by using the Desilab and the signal is being analyzed. Okay, first we create new. We click a uh, NIDAQ Max task next. Uh, then we choose the inquire signal and a lot input. Uh, for the strain gauge, we are detected the strain, so we choose the strain. Okay, from the national instruments, uh, we are going to use 9219, so we just choose the 9219, and we are using the channel number 3, so we are using the AI3, then we click next. Okay, then the name task, we put the... Uh, MI testing and we click finish okay then we are going to have a constant setting due to the sensor and the device the resistance also And we're using the strain co uh, configuration while using the quarter bridge one and the sample of reading we're using 1000, reads also 1000, and the mode are using the continuous sample. And we choose the input while we are choosing the NIDAQ max, then we choose the analog input, then we just pull it up. The choose it to the NI testing uh, this one is just the only strain only so we click OK 
In this killing, we follow up the reading of the sensor. This one is the our lab engineer doing. So we just follow the constant. Click OK. And this one is conversion. When the starting detected from the sensor was the strain, but we need to convert it to the pressure. Then we choose pressure, then we choose bar. Because the strain are detected in bar, so we're using the bar. Then we click OK. And then we connected each other. Okay. And let's have a this data is showing this data is showing the pressure reading when the sensor detected the electric signal it detected the strain it was generate the electrical signal and it was going to the NI measurement and the signal was being analyzed through the desilet going to the digital meter and showing the reading in bar. And my part was finished and I will proceed to my teammate. Okay, my name is Muhammad Zubair Ramadani and I will describe the sensitivity of the sensor. Okay, a sensor is a device that can detect and respond to a signal when touched. We can see this uh, sensor. Okay, uh, a sensor's uh, sensitivity indicates how much the sensor output change when the measure quantity change. For instance, when the pressure is applied to this pressure, uh, this strain gauge, uh, there is movement on the surface area of the sensor. So the sensor will detect by having a elongation or bending. Okay. Uh, as we can see, this sensor is always uh, small in size because uh, when small in size, we can uh, having a very high speed sensitivity. Uh, in most cases, uh, there is uh, sensors is manufactured in a micro uh, microscopic uh, scale because it can reach a higher significantly high speed and sensitivity compared to the microscopic approach. Uh, other sensitivity factor uh, is common strain gauge material. Uh, sensitivity factor of common strain gauge material uh, depends on the each material being used. And the sensitivity factor is, is usually provided by the uh, strain gauge vendors. But uh, engineers still need to choose the right gauge uh, material for their application. So, uh, for example, this uh, strain gauge, we can see the sensitivity of A is uh, 9,428.7, B 0 0.565962. Okay, uh, different strain gauge have different sensitivity and uh, uh, different sensitivity can have a different result. So, uh, as an engineer, we must know the sensitivity first so we can can have an accurate or uh, a good result yes. okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good morning today I want to present about the application of strength gauge sensor in the experiment in this fluid laboratory okay for your information before this we only use a manual reading from the experiment and by using the pressure sensor but now we are able to use the sensor that is uh, this sensor called strain gauge sensor in order to detect the pressure okay uh, we can see that in this particular lab we have five experiments that use this strain gauge sensor but today i want to show only three of the experiments okay uh, for your information this strain gauge sensor is able to detect a pressure in this fluid, fluid pipe, pipe flow. Okay, this sensor, we only attach the sensor at two, at two different pipes that 
is at the entrance and also at the exit. Okay, to calculate the particular pressure, we only uh, we only find the differences between the pressure and entrance and also the pressure out. So we take the difference and we can get the actual pressure. From this pressure, we can calculate the head loss by using the formula P equal to rho GH. Okay. Uh, next, we can we take note that the head loss is occur when the pipe friction is occur in this uh, fluid flow through the high pressure into the low pressure. Okay. Next, I will show you the application or uh, the other application of this strength sensor in other experiment. Okay, come. Okay. This is the Pelton turbine demonstration. Uh, we use the single sensor that is attached at this entrance of the pipe in order to detect the pressure when the fluid flow through the shaft into the turbine. This uh, fluid flow will move the turbine and also the higher the pressure and it will make the higher movement of the turbine. So the speed also will increase. Okay, next is next experiment that use the strangers sensor uh, is this experiment. This experiment is Bernoulli principle experiment. Okay, this is the sensor, and the sensor is attached to this portion. To this portion, in order to the high pressure. It will minimize the error in this portion and also it will reduce the pressure at the pressure level at this side. So, in conclusion, in conclusion, I think uh, this, I can conclude that this strain gauge sensor is able to detect uh, pressure in fluid flow and also we can calculate the idea information by using the formula. So, I think that's all. Thank you. Is I would like to discuss another application of the strength gauge in the test. Let me know. The, the use of strength gauge in test measurement application in the automotive and the test. space. How do strength gauge ensure structure integrity for aerospace or automotive application. Today, millions of stress cash are used in the field of experimental stress analysis. Testing newly development developed components using strain cash has become a standard, particularly in the automotive and aerospace industry. Measuring strain with strain cash and Competing mechanical stress on the basis of known material properties has been an established method over the past few decades. Okay, strange gauge basics. Strange gauge basics are sensors that are used to measure compressive or tensile strain in a pipe due to apply load. The sensor can be used on their own or can integrate into other types of sensors such as light and load cells. Okay, for example, the strength cost is used to measure movement building in CBN.